Bless you. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, if I bothered you in anything, is there anything I can do to make it up to you? Watch what you post about people on social media. I'm sorry. Watch the information that you put about somebody because you'll be fucking arrested. We're calling a fucking lawyer. You're done. I'm sorry, is there anything I can take out so you, uh, I... Hi, this is Professor Martinez, uh, blessings. I uh, called you back because you seemed very upset and very um, uh, mad. Uh, if I did anything wrong or if I offended you in any way, please let me know so I can uh, make it up to you. If something was posted that offended you, please let me know so I can take it out. But I cannot take it out if you don't let me, if you don't tell me what you want me to take out what you want me to delete. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, if, if, I, if, if there is anything that I can do for you or help you in any way, please uh, give me a call and let me know. God bless you and happy holidays. Many um, blessings to you and your family. Bye-bye. Today is the 6th of um, November 2021, uh, this uh, guy seemed very upset. I gathered that he is an, uh, a cop, and uh, perhaps one of the cops that um, came to break down the door and broke down the door and, and vandalized the my elderly disabled mother's apartment and kidnapped uh, and falsely arrested me. And I believe that perhaps he uh, is aware that uh, we contacted the, me the uh, media and the news reporters as uh, advised by uh, different attorneys. So I don't know why he's uh, mad about and I cannot help him if he doesn't tell me what he's mad about. But I hope that uh, perhaps he can uh, call me back and let me know what he's uh, angry about so I can <laughs> At, uh, undo what I did, what I if I offended him in any way, shape, or form. Not uh, so, well, I hope God um, blesses him, and I will pray for him, um, and uh, for him to get rid of uh, a wrath, because wrath is um, a capital sin, and it offends God. Um, so I hope that he can um, just uh, uh, calm down and let me let me know what I did wrong. Okay, this is Professor Solange Martinez, um, the Christian um, caretaker of her mother, who was kidnapped and uh, falsely arrested on the twenty fourth of uh, mm -hmm. November, twenty twenty one. Today is the twenty ninth of November 2021, um, and this was after um, the news reporters were contacted. He called me from a phone number that doesn't have a name. It's, uh, it's 203-627-2574. I wish he could give me his name, uh, or he could tell me what uh, I did that bothered him so much that he was cursing so badly and um, using the F word, which means fornication of Christ uh, and other things that highly offend God. So I guess um, he doesn't want to say, but he, he seemed very angry and he was calling me female dogs and he said to watch what I post about cops because I would be killed uh, and things like that. So 
I wondered what happened that he got so angry. Well, um, I yeah. hope that God will give him peace, uh, especially this Christmas, because all his chi he, he wants all his children to come back to him and have peace. But if you're in violation of the Ten Commandments uh, or are involved with the capital uh, sins, Um, you are not choosing God or, or Christ, his beloved son. You're choosing Satan. And uh, the Bible says uh, that Jesus says, you cannot eat at my table and eat at the demon's tables also. You have to choose one another, one or the other. And I guess he's not uh, choosing God's table or Jesus' table because he's cursing out and uh, doing things and saying things that um, are unpleasant to God and offend God, especially offends his mother when uh, if he was one of the uh, police officers that came here to break down my mother's door, um, he was hitting the door with a hatchet and on the door was the image of our beloved, very beloved mother of God, Mother Mary. Um, the mother of Jesus and the Ten Commandments and that's a sacrilege um, and it's a, a mortal sin mm -hmm. so I'm going to pray for him um, every day so he comes down gets rid of the capital sin wrath and comes back to Jesus I hope uh, God blesses him I hope that you can pray for him too ¿Saben cuál es el trabajo del diablo número uno? ¿Cuál es, su, ¿Cuál es su primer trabajo que tiene el diablo? Destruir la obra de Cristo. Ese es su trabajo del diablo. Destruir la obra de Dios. ¿Cómo? Destruyendo la familia. Causando infidelidades. Levantando muchas mentiras. Muchos falsos testimonios, animando a la gente a que robe. Tú roba, no te preocupes, no pasa nada. Róbate un carro, róbate dos carros. Mata al que te cae gordo. Golpea al que se ponga enfrente. Métete con la mujer que quieras o con el hombre que quieras. Haz juramentos y no los cumplas. No vayas a misa. ¿Para qué vas a misa? ¿De qué sirve? Mira los que van a misa. No comulgues. ¿Para qué comulgas? No te confieses. Esos curas que confiesan son peores que tú. En el templo y en la calle son unos diablos bien hechos y vemos. Y hay otros que en la calle son diablos y en la iglesia también. Y hay algunos que no vienen a la iglesia, pero esos son diablos enteros, completos. ¿Por qué les digo que el diablo cada vez trabaja menos? ¿Por qué? Porque tiene muchos servidores. Usted, señora, la que roba. Usted, señora, la que anda difamando. Usted, señora, la que a todo el mundo ofende y de todo el mundo piensa mal. Usted es empleada del diablo. No me digan que es empleada de Dios. Usted, señor, que a todo el mundo agrede, que a toda la mujer, a toda mujer que pasa le avienta suspiros y la desea. Usted, señor, grosero, majadero, metiche, infiel. Ratero, flojo, ustedes los que se suben a robar en el transporte público, los que salgan a las calles a robar, están trabajando para Dios. Eso, eso es usted, usted que me está viendo y que se dedica a eso, usted está trabajando para Dios, con que, eso que sale a hacer todos los días. Los que tumban puertas y se meten a robar en casa de discapacitados. Pero es empleado del diablo y le estás haciendo el trabajo al diablo. Y hoy Jesús habla de eso, hoy Jesús habla de esto. Habla de que el diablo anda buscando dónde meterse y dónde, dónde encontrar un cobijo donde pueda hacer su trabajo. ¿Cuál es el trabajo del diablo? Ya les dije, volvemos a lo primero que les dije. ¿Cuál es el trabajo del diablo? Destruir qué? La obra de Dios, destruir la obra de Cristo. Así es, por eso al diablo le molesta tanto que yo esté en YouTube. Y a sus empleados, por eso hay locas y locos que me ven a ver en qué me equivoco para acusarme, para destruirme.
<laughs> Brothers and sisters in Christ, this is the Social Security Administration Office here in Waterbury, Connecticut. Uh, it is a public building where uh, I, Professor Solange Martinez, cannot enter. Actually, since I reported children trafficking in the United States by high government officials, district attorneys, FBI agents, and uh, Homeland Security uh, employees, I was banned uh, or forbidden from entering the Social Security Administration office. And also after I uh, found out that somebody is getting Social Security benefits with my identity and Social Security number in California, uh, I, <laughs> through a phone conversation, I called to ask for something and I was told that I was getting Social Security benefits and I had been uh, for more than 20 years or so. So the taxpayers have been paying a lot of money for me uh, and I'm 52 years old and I don't have any illnesses, any chronic illnesses. Uh, supposedly, I am not able to go into any Social Security office in the uh, United States after I recorded the Social Security uh, Commissioner and, its, and his staff members uh, ripping off the United States government and defrauding the United States government. Mm -hmm. As you can see, uh, this is the police uh, department. The trucks are here at the street. And as you can see, I went, I went to take my mother to the Social Security office as uh, the Ten Commandments states and uh, the Ten Commandments states uh, honor your father and your mother and because I took the social life mother to the social security office this is my mother uh, the one that you're saying oh my god oh my god this is my mother because when she sees that the police uh, officers uh, two trucks were at the Social Security office after I went to the Social Security office to take my mother to fill out a change of banks uh, form to receive her Social Security benefits or what is left of it after the Social Security Commissioner takes more than half her Social Security uh, checks of her Social Security checks. So as you can see, it, it is very stressful for my mother to uh, go to the Social Security Administration office. And it is a public building uh, where uh, any uh, person living in the United States uh, can uh, enter and do business. But uh, we, the Christians who uh, report fraud by government officials, and have hard evidence that they are um, stealing from the taxpayers in the United States government. Uh, we are uh, forbidden from entering this office because people are getting social security benefits with uh, our identities. Uh, so we Christians do not have the right uh, to exercise our constitutional rights. And our constitution in the United States says that uh, any citizen like myself, because I am a United States citizen, have the legal right to enter any public building. Uh, when, when I was at the Social Security Benefits Office, uh, I noticed that being a the hackers, that the hackers that um, are uh, hacking my phone. Uh, one of them is uh, by the order of Fernando Spagnolo, the chief of police, who is said to be uh, the deep state mafia hitman. And as you could see, there were two trucks, police trucks there, 
because a Christian was reported that somebody was getting social security benefits with her social security number in California and went to the social security office and reported them committing fraud, uh, reported this. So if you report fraud by high government officials or you report, report children trafficking in the United States by high government officials or you report uh, a crime, then you are hunted down and persecuted. The police officers saw me that I was recording their trucks because then they, they're gonna say, oh, we were there just by chance. They were not there just by chance. Uh, as you can see, my phone, you see that green light there? My phone shows that they are in my phone and uh, they activate the location of my phone. So because I started uh, using my phone with the internet and I started praying, uh, Saint uh, Raphael's uh, Archangel um, Rosary. Then uh, they got in my phone and they noticed that uh, I was at the Social Security office where uh, people are, the commissioner is defrauding the United States uh, government with my Social Security um, number. And then after I reported that, um, I was uh, kidnapped by a group of police officers saying that I committed crimes and that I had mental illnesses with no no physic, no uh, medical evidence, no scientific evidence, uh, no um, uh, psychiatric evaluations whatsoever. Uh, they got people from different uh, third country um, cities like Africa, uh, Haiti, and other very, very poor country. Uh, supposedly these people were doctors and uh, psychiatrists. And when you ask them for their credentials, they uh, cannot provide the credentials. But they uh, certified that I had about 17 different chronic, mental chronic illnesses without doing an MRI of my brain, without doing um, a CT scan without doing anything that uh, can indicate that I have one mental illness. They claim that I have 17 mental illnesses. After that, they dressed people up. They dressed uh, women up like me <laughs> uh, and they go to wherever I go and they see how I act, uh, my height, the color of my hair, they dye their hair my color, the color of my hair, the same. And then they go to places, uh, commit disorderly conduct, and then claim that uh, I committed disorderly conduct. So they go to my home and supposedly arrest me. But well, they know very well that it wasn't me because they paid these women with welfare benefits okay. to impersonate me. See, way I to impersonate me. No. And after they impersonate me, then uh, they say they tell them to go home, and then they go to my home and arrest me. You see, this is my phone. They are in my phone, so I'm gonna turn it off. We, we will wait uh, to show you that they come back to my phone. <laughs> Because they need to know uh, the location of where I am so they can go and harass me. Just because I reported that uh, people were using my social security uh, number and my name and personal identifiable information, you see, came back again. Because they need to know where I am. Uh, so they can uh, tell people to follow me, stalk me, which is a uh, federal offense. And also, it is a violation of the um, Constitution of the United States to tell somebody that they cannot not go to a public place. 
because uh, the Constitution says that in order to find somebody guilty of something, it has to be a due process. There has to be a due process. The due process is to arrest you and uh, prove that you committed a crime and then uh, give you the punishment, the legal punishment. Say you cannot come back to this public place or whatever. But it is uh, unconstitutional to tell a United States citizen like myself that they cannot enter a public building because uh, a group of police officers that she reported for fraud uh, and uh, for uh, racketeering claimed that she went to the Social Security Administration office, threatened them, beat them up, or tried to uh, disarm them, and then uh, went home. They allowed her to go home and then went to pick her up uh, uh, several days later. Went to pick her up at her home, kidnapped her, and had her um, illegally incarcerated for 21 days in the Bronx. After uh, I was incarcerated legally, I was interviewed by um, some news reporters and uh, I was uh, interviewed by um, other people uh, from a, for a show. I think it, the show's name is uh, Courtroom or something. And uh, the host of the show told me that I was very, very calm, cool, and collected for a person that they claim is a public menace, that uh, it is a criminal that committed many, many crimes and uh, is a threat for the general public because I'm a Christian, of course. So it is obvious that they are, these people are lying. I have been kidnapped by the police uh, 11 times and they have not been able to prove that I did something wrong, let alone uh, committed a crime. So if I have been arrested, so they say, uh, uh, George Floyd's lawyer told me that it's not arrest, it's kidnapping. If I have been arrested uh, 11 times and they haven't been able to prove that I committed one crime, that means that they are either, the Department of Justice of the United States is either very incompetent or they are liars. The people involved in my uh, kidnappings, the police officers involved in my kidnapping and illegal incarceration. <laughs> Brothers and sisters in Christ, this is the Social Security Administration Office here in Waterbury, Connecticut. Uh, it is a public building where uh, I, Professor Solange Martinez, cannot enter. Actually, since I reported children trafficking in the United States by high government officials, district attorneys, FBI agents, and uh, Homeland Security uh, employees. I was banned uh, or forbidden from entering the Social Security Administration office. And also after I uh, found out that somebody is getting Social Security benefits with my identity and Social Security number in California, uh, I <laughs> through a phone conversation, I called to ask for something and I was told that I was getting social security benefits and I had been uh, for more than 20 years or so. So the taxpayers have been paying a lot of money for me uh, and I'm 52 years old and I don't have any illnesses, any chronic illnesses. Uh, supposedly, I am not able to go into any social security office in the uh, United States after I recorded the social security uh, commissioner and, its, and his staff members. Uh, ripping off the United States government and defrauding the United States government. Mm -hmm. As you can see, uh, this is the police uh, department. The trucks are here at the beach. Uh -huh. And. Ay, 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 son, ay, 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 and as you can see, I went, I went 
to take my mother to the Social Security office as the Ten Commandments states. Mm -hmm. As the Ten Commandments states, uh, honor your father and your mother. And because I took the social, my mother to the Social Security office, this is my mother, uh, the one that you're saying, oh my God, oh my God, this is my mother because when she sees that the police uh, officers, uh, two trucks were at the social security office after I went to the social security office to take my mother to fill out a change of banks uh, form to receive her social security benefits or what is left of it after the social security commissioner takes more than half her social security uh, checks, of her social security checks. So as you can see, it, it is very stressful for my mother to uh, go to the social security administration office. And it is a public building uh, where uh, any uh, person living in the United States uh, can uh, enter and do business. But uh, we, the Christians who uh, report fraud by government officials and have hard evidence that they are um, stealing from the taxpayers and the United States government, uh, we are uh, forbidden from entering this office because people are getting social security benefits with uh, our identities. So we Christians do not have the right uh, to exercise our constitutional rights. And our constitution in the United States says that uh, any citizen like myself, because I am a United States citizen, have the legal right to enter any public building. Uh, when, when I was at the Social Security Benefits Office, uh, I noticed that the hackers that, the hackers that um, are uh, hacking my phone, uh, one of them is uh, by the order of Fernando Spagnolo, the chief of police, who is said to be uh, the deep state mafia hitman. And as you could see, there were two trucks, police trucks there, because a Christian who reported that somebody was getting social security benefits with her social security number in California and went to the social security office and recorded them committing fraud, uh, reported this. So if you report fraud by high government officials or you report, report children trafficking, in the United States by high government officials, or you report uh, a crime, then you are hunted down and persecuted. The police officers saw me that I was recording their trucks because then they, they're gonna say, oh, we were there just by chance. They were not there just by chance. Uh, as you can see, my phone, you see that green light there? My phone shows that they are in my phone and uh, they activate the location of my phone. So because I started uh, using my phone with the internet and I started praying, uh, Saint uh, Raphael's uh, Archangel um, Rosary, then uh, they got in my phone and they noticed that uh, I was at the social security office where uh, people are, the commissioner is defrauding the United States uh, government with my social security um, number. And then after I reported that, um, I was uh, kidnapped by a group of police officers saying that I committed crimes and that I had mental illnesses with no, no, physic, no uh, medical evidence, no scientific evidence, uh, no... Um, psychiatric evaluations whatsoever. Uh, they got people from different uh, third country um, uh, cities 
like Africa, uh, Haiti, and other very, very poor country. Uh, supposedly these people were doctors and a psychiatrist. And when you ask them for their credentials, they uh, cannot provide the credentials. But they uh, certified that I had about 17 different chronic mental chronic illnesses without doing an MRI of my brain, without doing um, a CT scan, without doing anything that uh, can indicate that I have one mental illnesses. They claim that I have 17 mental illnesses. After that, they dressed people up. They dressed uh, women up like me, <laughs> uh, and they go to wherever I go, and they see how I act, uh, my height, the color of my hair. They dye their hair my color, the color of my hair, the same. And then they go to places, uh, commit disorderly conduct, and then claim that uh, I committed this other conduct, so they go to my home and supposedly arrest me. But they know very well that it wasn't me because they paid these women with welfare benefits okay. to impersonate me. To impersonate me. No. And after they impersonate me, then. Uh, they say they tell them to go home and then they go to my home and arrest me you see this is my phone they are in my phone so i'm gonna turn it off we, we will wait uh to show you that they come back to my phone <laughs> they need to know uh, the location of where I am so they can go and harass me just because I reported that uh, people were using my social security uh, number and my name and personal identifiable information you see came back again because they need to know where I am uh, so they can uh, tell people to follow me stalk me which is a uh, federal offense and also it is a violation of the um, Constitution of the United States to tell somebody that they cannot not go to a public place because uh, the Constitution says that in order to find somebody guilty of something it has to be a due process there have to be a due process the due process is to arrest you and uh, prove that you committed a crime and then uh, give you the punishment, the legal punishment. Say you cannot come back to this public place or whatever. But it is uh, unconstitutional to tell a United States citizens like myself that they cannot enter a public building because uh, a group of police officers that she reported for fraud uh, and uh, for uh, racketeering claimed that she went to the Social Security Administration office, threatened them, beat them up, or tried to uh, disarm them, and then uh, went home. They allowed her to go home and then went to pick her up uh, uh, several days later, went to pick her up at her home, kidnapped her, and had her um, illegally incarcerated for 21 days in the Bronx. After uh, I was incarcerated legally, I was interviewed by... Um, some news reporters and uh, I was uh, interviewed by um, other people uh, from a, for a show I think it, the show's name is uh, courtroom or something and uh, the host of the show told me that I was very very calm cool and collected for a person that they claim is a public menace that uh, it is a criminal that committed many, cr many crimes and uh, is a threat for the general public because I'm a Christian, of course. So it is obvious that they are, these people are lying. I have been kidnapped by the police uh, 11 times and they have not been able to prove that I did something wrong, let alone uh, committed a crime. So if I have been arrested, so they say, uh, a, George Floyd's lawyer told me that it's not arresting, it's kidnapping. 
if I have been arrested uh, 11 times and they haven't been able to prove that I committed one crime, that means that they are either, the Department of Justice of the United States is either very incompetent or they are liars. The people involved in my uh, kidnappings, the police officers involved in my kidnapping and illegal incarceration.